So here's the first example we're going to use using the ideal gas law. And they say that we have a mass of oxygen occupying 0 0.0200 cubic meters at atmospheric pressure. And we're given the temperature. So we're given all the initial conditions, initial pressure, initial volume. What you do need to be careful is that you change that temperature of 5 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. And remember our conversion is that our degrees Celsius plus 273 will give us our degrees in Kelvin, so 278. And then we're asked if we increase the pressure from 101 to 108, and we um, change the temperature and make it also a higher temperature, and again, we're taking that 30, adding 273 and getting 303, what's the new volume going to be? So we have two changes going on, higher pressure and higher temperature, what's the effect on the volume? Um, in this case, volume is our unknown, and that's V2. Typically, my unknown I'm going to put on the top. So I'll put P2V2 equals NRT2, and then I'm going to divide by my initial conditions. P1V1 equals NRT1. Now, in this case, the only thing we'll be able to cancel is the number of moles. This is a closed system. So the number of moles in the before picture and after picture is the same. Universal gas constant is the same. And we're looking for what V2 is. So we've got P2V2 over P1V1 equals T2 over T1. I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides here by P1V1. So I'm going to cross multiply P1V1. That'll get rid of that. And then I'm going to divide both sides by P2 to isolate my V2. So it looks like writing my equation, V2 is going to be T2 over T1, P1V1 over P2. And now we can put in our values. Um, temperature 2 is 303. Pressure 1, 101 times 10 to the third, and hopefully I have enough room. Volume 1, 0.02. Divide by temperature 1, 278, and pressure 2, 108 times 10 to the third. And I think I got that all in there. 303 times 101 times 10 to the third times 0 0.0200. Divide by 278, 108 times 10 to the third. It looks like V2 will be 0 0.0204 cubic meters. And now let's see what our significant figures look like. It looks like we have one if you're counting the temperature. We'll take that explicitly. I think we won't worry too much about that and report that our final volume is 0 0.0204 cubic meters. So it looks like our volume has expanded. Our temperature expanded, making the molecules moving faster. Our pressure expanded, so we're hitting the sides more frequently. It looks like our volume increased as well.